Hello everyone and welcome back. I got sick and tired of screwing around with the lift here. Finally called somebody up and have them out pull the tires, get them fixed. Tomorrow I run down and pick them up, I'll put them on myself and it'll be done. I was only going to do this one, called them up, had them order the tire, then I decided to pump the other back one up because that one's not all that bad but it'll hold air for a couple of weeks. Pump it up, walk about five or six feet away, it was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> 150 bucks to come out here and bring them back and pull them. Might as well have them do both of them and save, have, saving the money of them having to come out another time. That's the best way to lift the back end of these up. Just drive those forks into the ground if you've got solid ground. Lift up and it comes right off the ground. I have two pork roasts in there, slow smoking. All the two pork roasts have been in there now for seven and a half hours. I had them five hours with smoke and now they're wrapped. And I'm just letting them cook. We pulled uh, strawberries out of the freeze dryer, got them into the whatever kind of mylar bags and sealed with the oxygen absorber and now Melissa's putting in peaches. I just put more coals in here so I have everything wide open so they get burning but I've got those in there and you can't see it over here but there's five or six potatoes not wrapped in foil that I'm just letting those smoke too. I was surprised they weren't done. They've been in there probably two hours already. I was just sitting out here at the table and I'm making the drawing for the outdoor wood boiler furnace thing because I meet with them on Wednesday. I go from here about two and a half hours and meet with those people with all the drawings and pictures to get a bid. Then from there I have to go, I don't know, back about a half hour or so and I'm meeting with a guy. I'm buying a different tent for duck hunting. Um, it's the Alaknak one but it's only a 12 by 12 which I've wanted one for a while because the one I have leaks so bad. And the one I have is the Bighorn series but I've had it for probably over 20 years. So anyway, the one came up on Marketplace. It's in really good shape. So I'm going to pick that up and from there I got to go to Aiken and have some stuff to do and then from Aiken I'll loop back up to the house. So on Wednesday it'll be, I don't know, 300 to 350 mile round trip and I'll get a lot of stuff done in one day. We were going to put the wood boiler right about where that orange cone is. I think I talked about it in I think maybe the last video, I don't know. But now we're going to move it out to the back side of the garden here to the left of Brandon's truck or like right about by his front right side bumper there, left for you on the video. Then it's about 120 feet to the house, 107 feet to the workshop, and just the way the wind is blowing, the wind constantly, like if it sits right here, I thought it would never hit the house. And then today with the barbecue going, look at the way the smoke is going. <laughs> if it was sitting there before it was blowing right at the house and I had to shut the windows and turn on the air conditioner, because it was just smelling like a big old fire in there. So yeah, I'm gonna switch it and put it back. Plus, I can bring in a semi load of wood and dump it like next to it or have them set it behind it and cut it up. And if it was right here, we're getting kind of close to the sewer system and uh, we might be building kind of like a greenhouse here for Melissa and everything and it's just getting a little too tight so why not throw it back there you can have those things you know 300 feet away from your house it doesn't matter and uh, it just might be a better and then I can come through here and just push snow because the fifth wheel's not there then and push snow back and just have a nice wide open snow free yard in the winter there to uh, work with the wood this is way too early in the week to be filming but with the forklift tires getting switched out and everything, I thought I might as well get a little bit in today. Shut that top down a little bit, get this thing back up to 225 degrees. It's almost 9 o'clock tonight, but it's pretty cool out so the bees will have died down. And she's putting a new kind of feeder in there where you put an empty box 
and then you put the feeder inside the box and then put the cover on so they can come up from the bottom and uh, eat from it. I think some kind of a sugar water goes in there. Good morning everybody. I've got a bunch of stuff that has to get done today. I need to finish my drawings and take pictures for my meeting tomorrow morning with the wood boiler furnace people. And they called and my tires are done for the forklift. So I put the trailer on and I'm going down to Duluth right now to pick those up. Well, they're gonna have to sit right there for today. I got too much to do before tomorrow morning. I see red raspberries in there. Good morning, everybody. It's actually about 11.30. Got up this morning, left a few minutes before 7. Drove to Royalton, Minnesota. Had about a two hour meeting with the people with the Crown Royal wood furnace, the wood boiler. Went through a lot of stuff, it was really informative. And got done there. Now I'm going over to the Brainerd Baxter area to pick up a used tent that I'm going to use for duck hunting. I talked about that, I think, you know, yesterday or the day before. It's been a busy morning. Well, I just got back up here to the farm. I had left at like three minutes to seven and I got home tonight at about three minutes to seven. <laughs> There's the new tent. There's the stove that came with it, which is exactly the same as the one that I already had. And I'm guessing that my email will probably have the bid to put in the outdoor wood boiler furnace. Well, today I had a really busy work day. And now it's, I don't know, probably 7 o'clock maybe. And I came out here to check these blueberries because Melissa and I picked them all. Let's see. Five or six days ago. And there's oh, there's got to be a thousand ripe ones here. So I decided I better get these picked. Raspberries are just like the whole patch looks red. So we'll have to get on those this weekend. She just took uh, another batch of peaches out of the freeze dryer. So this weekend then she'll do a whole bunch of canning, making some jam and stuff. Mosquitoes are getting bad. You can see in here just how many there are. There's a lot more out there that'll be ripe within a day or two. It's quite a few though. It's the second time we've picked, so not bad. Mm 
Well, I decided to come out here. It was a quarter to eight and just pick raspberries for 15 minutes. I've been working all week at night on the latest tent video and uh, it's done, but it's an hour and 20 some minutes long and I have to watch it before I can render it, make sure there's no mistakes. But I thought I'd come out here and at least pick some of these. I mean, this is just this tiny little uh, patch that came up where the wood pile is because anytime you have a wood pile or a brush pile, raspberries are going to grow. And I mean, I didn't even get maybe a third of them picked that are ripe, and there's hundreds left that are not ripe that will be ripening. I don't know if you can see that with the sun, but I mean, they're all over there red right in here. And this is a big patch. Temperature only got to 68 today. It's supposed to warm up over the next few days. I'm going to try to get these tires off and see how hard it's going to be to get on there. So I'll film some of this and then when things get too adult around here, I, I won't film that.
nice to have it going again. We got the two new tires from 2022. Have original tire right there from 1999. And the one on the other side, I think I had that put on in 2006 or 2007. Well, if you guys remember, last week I got new blades for this, and I can't actually lift it up and reach underneath there and switch them out, but I like to pull the whole deck and take a look and see if anything is, there was some weird vibrations going on, maybe, could be a bent blade or anything, I don't know, so I'm going to pull the whole deck out, just so I can get a better look at it, just make sure everything's okay, get the new blades on there, clean the bottom of the deck, and then slide it back underneath there. Look at the metal, the middle blade. That's definitely why it was leaving an inch of space between the blades when I would mow. <laughs> Look at that mess. Wonder what I hit. I'm sure I hit it all at one time. Well, these here too. I mean, not much left of that. See on these three, see how this spins with the spindle? This one has some string behind it. This one anyway, it does not. So there is no play in any of these, but I think it would be smart for me to order some spindles. These don't look too bad for the metal coming out, but it's a little bit mushroomed. And I mean, I, I admittedly put this this mower through like Melissa said even last year she said if this mower were to quit tomorrow it's already paid for itself so we really do put it through the ringer but I think I'll get some more of these just so I have them on hand
It mowed it pretty good. It's not completely perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Way better than it was. I was going to do a little bit more mowing, and then Melissa came out, and her and I grabbed a... Each of us grabbed a bowl and went into the raspberry patch for 45 minutes and picked raspberries. Good morning everybody. It's actually about 10.45 right now. We decided to do all of our Sunday cleaning today. It's gonna get hot today and hot tomorrow and just wanted to get that done. It was getting a little bit filthy inside the house, but looks good now. I'm right here. You see me? It's almost lunchtime. I'm thinking that the keys to my truck, one of the sets, is in the washing machine right now because twice I went out to my truck and the doors were locked and I didn't lock them before I left. So <laughs> something's going on with one of my little clickers. I think this batch that she's doing into jam is apricot pineapple. Well, after lunch, I came out here, tore the front little building off the front of the mobile home, and then I wanted to get into this little area here where the furnace is, so I wish I have filmed on the actual series of that video, but that's what I've been doing today. Pretty much just making a mess. Well, I got quite a bit mowed. I was going to do over by the chicken coop tonight. And then I drove up with the mower and the neighbors stopped over. The ones that are, if you're looking out the driveway to the right. And uh, we see them about once a year. And I have not seen them for, uh, it's been about 13 months right now. <laughs> so, perfect neighbors. Talked to them for a half hour, 45 minutes. Got caught up on things and... Yeah, now I'm inside, I'm going to take a shower, and tomorrow's a new day. Good morning, everybody. I was doing a few things on the camper this morning, or on the mobile home. But now I'm running up to the store because Melissa wants to make a banana nut bread or something, and we're going to do breakfast for lunch, so I needed to get some bacon. sprinkles of rain this morning it sounds like we're gonna get some more rain this afternoon we really could use it all right back to the house Well, I brought the stuff from the store back to the house and then waited about a half hour and now I'm driving up to the McDonald's in Cloquet because I'm meeting uh, people. Melissa bought two ceramic pottery wheels and I am picking them up right now. They were, people were driving about an hour and a half from somewhere down in the cities I suppose. And, 
I'm supposed to meet him up here and pick these two up, and she's cooking lunch right now. Alright, I picked up the pottery wheels, and I am definitely ready for lunch. It's already 12.42. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. The rain kind of put a damper for anything outside today, or this afternoon. Melissa's been in there canning cherries, and she's got a load of apricots in the freeze dryer. This is what I've become. This is what Colin has done to me. And as soon as this rain lets up, I need to run the garbage can down. I will see you guys on the next video.